Raphael. Today we're going to continue talking about systems of equations and this time we're going to use another method to solve the system of equations and we're going to do that algebraically by substitution. Remember that the answer to a system of equations is the point, the coordinates where the two lines cross and so the way we did it last time was we were to graph those lines but in the event you don't have the ability to graph, we have an alternate method to solve these systems of equations. So if you look here, both of these equations have y on the left, and, and it's telling us what y is equal to. Well, the place where these systems cross, the y's are going to be the same. We're going to end up with coordinates x, y. And the coordinates where those two lines cross, the y is going to be the same. So that means the right side of these two equations should be equal to each other in the place where they're going to cross. So we're going to take these two and we're going to say that they're equal. And so now we have an equation here we can solve that only has one variable. So we can figure out what x is and then we can use that to find y. So when we were solving equations, I like to move all my x's to the left. So I'm going to move this to the left. And when I move it, it's going to change from a negative to a positive here. The 1 half x is going to stay the same. That negative 2x, when it switches sides, it switches its sign to positive 2x. I'm going to move this 3 to be over here with the negative 2. The negative 2 stays the same because it's not moving. This positive 3 becomes negative because it's switching sides. And now I can clean up my equation and solve for x. Negative 2 minus 3. If you can't do that, remember you can use Desmos and get negative 5. 1 half x plus 2x. I'm going to use Desmos and I'm going to say 1 half plus 2. It's going to give me 2.5. I want my answer as a fraction if I can. So I press the little fraction button. It tells me it's 5 over 2. And of course, 5 over 2x. And now to finish this, I'm going to divide both sides by that fraction. Um, so if you want to keep it as 2.5 for now, that might make this a little easier. That's fine. But you can just divide by 5 over 2. And you can use Desmos, negative 5 divided by, and I can put in parentheses, 5 over 2. And it's going to tell us our answer is negative 2. So again, if, I guess if you wanted to use 2.5, that would have been okay here. So x is negative 2. And we always want to know what x and y are. Because the place where they cross has an x and a y, we need to find y as well. So the way we can do that is by picking either one of these equations, since they both say y equals, and plugging negative 2 in for x. So I'll just choose this bottom one. I plug negative 2 in for x. And if I want to make sure I don't make any mistakes, I can just type that right into Desmos, negative 2, parentheses, negative 2, minus 2. It's a lot of negative 2, so let's make sure we don't make a mistake. And that gives us positive 2. So we have a y, we have an x. And so we can write the coordinates x, y. So we found the place where they cross without actually graphing them. So I went ahead and graphed those two lines just to confirm my answer is correct. So we can use this as a confirmation. And we do get that same intersection point. That's the solution, negative 2, 2. x is negative 2, y is positive 2. So let me do one more. Again, they both say y equals. So y is supposed to be the same when these two lines cross. And so I can set these two things equal to each other. 
Don't be afraid of the fractions. We have this tool that helps us, Desmos. I'm going to move my x's to the left and my non-x's, my numbers, my constants to the right. Whenever I switch something side, I have to switch its sign. So my negative 1 half x stays. It stays the same. Positive 5 over 4x becomes negative 5 over 4x. Negative 4 stays the same because it didn't move. And then that positive 3 becomes minus 3. And so I get negative 7 over here. And on this left side, I'm going to do negative 1 half minus 5 fourths. We can just use Desmos. And get negative 1.75. I'll leave it as a decimal for now. There's an X there. Don't lose your X. And then we can divide both sides by negative 1.75. Again, we can use Desmos for that. Negative 7 divided by negative 1.75 gives us 4. So when these two lines cross, x is going to be equal to 4. We can find out what y is by plugging x in. It doesn't matter which equation you choose to plug them in for. I'm going to plug it into this one right here just because it's easier to write underneath it. Plug in using parentheses, so replace the x with a 4. I could type this whole right side into my Desmos calculator, 5 over 4, parentheses 4, minus 4. Just type it in the way I see it. It'll do all the hard stuff for me, and I get y equals 1. So the place where these two lines cross, x is going to be 4 y is going to be equal to 1, so my final answer is 4, 1. I'm going to pause here, and I'm going to graph those and just confirm I'm correct. So I went ahead and graphed these, and I found the place where they intersect. That point, 4, 1, is the place where they intersect. x is 4, y is 1. That's what we got. That point is on both lines, so that's the solution to our system of equations. So I want you to solve this system of equations by substitution. Uh, make sure that you're using this algebraic method, substitution, to solve this. You can use Desmos to check your answer, but make sure you put your answer into the uh, question box when it pops up. So we're not always going to have both of them say y equals. Um, we might now like this one, we might know what x is equal to. And so x is going to be the same in both equations when they cross, and they, they cross at one point. So what I can do is take this stuff over here that x is equal to, and in my second equation, I can replace x with that stuff. So I can turn this second equation here. I'm going to replace x in parentheses with 4y plus 12. And then I have my minus 2y and my equals negative 4. And so this might take a little extra work. We've got to do um, some distributing. So I'm going to distribute my 3. That means I'm going to multiply 3 by everything in the parentheses. So 3 times 4y is 12y. 3 times 12 is 36. That comes down. All this stuff comes down. I am going to move my positive 36 over here because it doesn't have a y. Everything that doesn't switch sides stays the same. And then that positive 36 switch sides, so it becomes negative 36. And now I can finish this up and solve for y. 12y minus 2y is 10y. This becomes negative 40. You can use Desmos if you struggle with that. That's okay. There's no shame in that. Divide both sides by 10. And get y to be negative 4. So now we can use this y to find x. Up here it says x equals 4y plus 12. 
So I can plug y in my negative 4. I'm just going to use parentheses, replace y with negative 4. And again, this is a place where we can use Desmos. 4 parentheses negative 4 plus 12. It makes sense to make sure that you're typing it incorrectly. Double check what you're doing so you get the right answer. X is equal to negative 4. So they're both equal to negative 4. So my final answer is negative 4 for X, negative 4 for Y. This is the place where these two lines will intersect at negative 4, negative 4. So let me do one more like that. This time I'm telling you uh, y is equal to something, and so we can take the stuff that I'm saying y is equal to, and we can replace it in this equation. So in parentheses, I'm going to replace my y with negative x minus 2. Making sure that I take the rest of this equation, this 4x, and this equals 4. All I'm doing is replacing y with what it says up here y is equal to. And so now I can solve this for x. I don't really have to do any distribution here. There's technically a 1 right here. And if I multiply all this stuff by 1, it's just going to stay the same. So I'm just going to rewrite this. If you have any questions at how I'm doing um, these sort of algebra things, make sure that you ask for help. No problems with that. I'm going to move this minus 2 over here. Everything else can stay. So when, I, when everything stays, those things stay the same. The only thing that's changing is that minus 2 switching sides makes it a plus 2. So here I have 4x minus 1x is 3x. 4 plus 2 is 6. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. And get x to be 2. And so now that I know x is 2, I can use that to figure out what y is using that equation up there. I'm going to replace x with 2. Put that minus sign there still. So I can type this right into my Desmos calculator. And if you want to avoid mistakes, you just go ahead and just type it in the exact way you wrote it. And you get y to be negative 4. So the, the place, the point where these two lines are going to intersect is at 2, negative 4. x is 2, y is negative 4. Those two lines will cross at that point. So go ahead, use substitution. Please use substitution to find the solution to these two equations. If you want to, you can use the graphing calculator to check your answer, but make sure that you're practicing using substitution for these problems. So just like last time, I have extra questions today. I have eight questions, so make sure you put your answers to these four questions in the appropriate answer box when that question pops up. Make sure you answer these four questions in the appropriate answer box. Make sure you are using the substitution method. If you need some help, please raise your hand. I would love to help. Take your time on these, and good luck.